طب اه اوكي and what we're going to do today is we're going to start talking about personalities in um Sefer Shmuel now before the Chagim we learned one Shia we spoke about Shia let me just do stop sharing for a minute and afterwards we'll go back so I can see everybody um what we're going to discuss is we're going to discuss personalities in Sefer Shmuel um what do we mean by that we're going to try as we did in Sefer Yoshua and Sefer Shoftim we're going to try to analyze uh, the personalities who take place in the whole book uh, before the Chagim, we just spoke about one um dimension of the uh, story of the birth of Shmuel which was the prayer of Hana which had big uh, big impact on the whole fila of Rosh Hashanah which we spoke about then Today we're going to talk about speak about one dimension of Shmuel's father. Now what do I mean by one dimension? Everybody in their life has basically uh, three dimensions. The first dimension is they themselves, their own personal personal traits. You then have the second thing is his family. Okay, if you take this week's parsha, what do we say? Lech lecha um okay abraham himself his parents and the place where he lived and then you have abraham avinu the husband sara the family life therefore you have elkana the father of shmuel his basic personality traits the second one is the the husband which we will see in in the next couple of shiurim the third one is truma what did he give am israel what did he give over what was his message am israel now what we're going to discuss today is first of all the message which he gave in the period which he lives in that means his message person's message message or his job or how he sees his his uh, his objective in his life is a function of the generation which he lives in okay people who live in certain generations can develop their traits according to the needs of those generations and so let's give ourselves a fascinating insight into the chofetz chaim rabbi soel meir akohen the chofetz chaim who wrote the mishnah brura his greatness was he saw the needs of his generation the first thing he did was he saw and here i'm digressing one minute just to give you a certain way of thinking he saw the up and coming concept or idea of communications public communications newspapers and the damage which newspapers can do therefore he decides to write a book called shmira saloshan hofetz chaim how to deal with the surim of loshan hora in his particular age the next thing he sees is how young jewish boys are being kidnapped by the tsar by the tsar putting them in the army He writes a book called Machane Israel a very small book which is meant for soldiers meant for soldiers how do you keep mitzvahs under conditions in the army in the russian army he then writes another book called Nitche Israel he sees mass immigration from russia and poland what are the jews going to do when they get to their new countries he writes a book called nitche israel it's like a kitzel khonoroch people who are leaving russia and poland and not to speak about shnebrora not to speak about shmira saloshan etc 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 the greatness of the khovitz khaim was he saw what is needed in his generation 
and the impact which he had in his generation. Now, the same thing applies to every one of us. Okay, you take the great Reb Moshe Feinstein, who had the ability to give Piskei Halocha for an up and coming group of people who had emigrated from Russia and living in America. You had Rav Soloveitchik, who had the ability to synthesize between the philosophy, and you had the Lubavitcher Rebbe. Okay, the three perhaps greatest leaders of American Jewry had the ability to see all what was going on. Now, who was Elkanah? And what was the impact of Elkanah in his generation? That's what we're going to speak about. And after that, once we've delved into the um, message which Elkanah wanted to give over, we'll then go back to his personality traits. And then we will go basically his other or his third dimension was being a husband. Right. That is the plan for Elkanah. Once we've finished Elkanah, then we'll go to Chana. After that, we'll go to Elia Kohen. And after that, we'll go to Shmuel. We'll see how the, the uh, makeup of Sefer Shmuel and the basic messages which Sefer Shmuel give every single one of us. So let's start off the first chapter of Sefer Shmuel. Okay, it's in front of you. And also, I'm going to share screen. Something which I don't really like to do, but um, because I can't see you all. Okay, so we'll go and chop and change the whole time between share screening and um, speaking to all of you. Let's start off reading the sentences in front of us. This is the Haftarah, which we say on first day Rosh Hashanah. Ushmo Elkana Ben Yerucham Ben Elihu Ben Tochu Ben Tzuf Efrati. Okay, who he actually was, we'll speak about in a minute. Losh Dei Nashim, he had two wives. Shem Achat, Chana. Shem Ashniya, Nina. Vahili Pnina Yeladim, Pnina had children, and Chana and Yeladim, and we'll speak about Pnina also. Baala Haish Hahu. This person used to go from his, from his city, time after time, and to offer up sacrifices to Akadosh Baruch Hu in Shiloh. Right. So the next part is Vahi Hayom, Vaizbach Elkana. And the day came and Elkana went and offered up his sacrifices. And he gave to Pnina part of the Korban. Elkana gave a double amount. Yetchana Ahev, Elkana he loved. Hashem Sagarachma. Hashem closed up her womb. Etc. 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 Sentence seven. V'chein yaase. Shana b'shana. This is what he did every single year. Midei alota bevet Hashem. Ain't tich asna, but if kev alot ochal, she never wanted to eat. Now, we're going to jump over the next pasuk, pasuk ket, which speaks about Alkana and his wife. Then afterwards, she has. A child in sentence chaf, line number 15. Because I borrowed him from Hashem. And Elkanah goes up and all his, his household, give his nedarim, his vows, and to offer up sacrifices. So if we were to summarize, Elkanah, Elkanah has one dream. One objective. And what was that? Going up to Daven in Shiloh. Leaving his house, going up to Shiloh, miyamim yamima, every few days or every few weeks or every few months, he used to go there. Now, this going up to Shiloh is quite amazing. And this is the subject of our Shia. Elkanah going up to Shiloh. 
Now, let's see who is he? What was his genealogy? Where did he live? Let's look at the Radak, Rabbi David Kimchi, one of the great commentators on the Tanakh. Yesh Lefaresh Sofim. Look at the sentence, it's written at the top. Min Haramatayim, from the hills, Tsofim. What was Tsofim? Tsofim is Nevi'im. He was a prophet. Min, Shezachar, Omed, Mimkom, Shnaim, Kilu, Minat Tsofim, Kloma, Mishpachat Tsofim, from a family of prophets. I'm jumping a line to line number 25. Zeo Perosh Nachon, Mishpachat Nevi'im Haya, was from a family of prophets. He came from the family of Korach. Moshe Mefurash Yachaso B'divrei Yamim is written in Divrei Yamim U'bnei Korach Nevi'im Ayu. Heim Asir Ve'elkana Ve'yasaf. Elkana Avi Shmuel Aya M'ibnei Banav Shel Elkana Ben Korach. So Shmuel comes directly from the family of Korach. Now, Korach we all know was a problematic personality. If we were to analyze the personality of Korach, he was made up of two different dimensions, and that's what we're going to speak about the next shiur. So Kana, coming from the family of Korach. Therefore, he's a prophet. Where did he come from? Mehar Ephraim, line number 27. Mehar Ephraim. He was a Levi, and he lived in Ephraim. We know the tribe of Levi was scattered all around Eretz Israel. There were 48 cities. He lived in the mountains of Ephraim, which was in the area, if we were to analyze where Ephraim is, it is from Bet El northwards until you get to Shechem. Okay, if you picturize the map of Israel, it's north of Yerushalayim from Beit El until approximately about 10 kilometers north of Shechem. And then comes the tribe of Manasseh. It's one of the biggest areas of tribes in Israel. Now, Umasha Amar says the Radak, Yehuv Avotav Hayu Garim Har Ephraim, near E, in Achlatam Hayasham. He lived there. Bibnei Kahat Hayu. So Elkanah lives in the tribe of Ephraim. He's a Levi who is there. And that's where he lives. Now there's no Yerushalayim then. There's no Yerushalayim. The Mishkan is in Shiloh. In the center of the tribe of Ephraim. Now, let's go back to the beginning of the sentence, right at the beginning. Go back, we're going back to the top of the line. Vayhi ish echad. Okay, there was a man. Take note in sentence three, Pasuk Gimel. Ba'ala ish hahu. Pasuk chaf aleph. That means we're talking about something specific here. Specific about a certain man. Now, besides that, what is quite amazing is the word Vayahi. Vayahi connects up with something which we learned before. Now we're going to speak about the period in which Elkanah lives. Let's look in this Midrash Agada, line number 32. on that. Asher od lo matzati. Adam chad me elef matzati. Sometimes I look for people and I can't find them. And sometimes I have the ability to find one in a thousand. One man amongst a thousand. Mahu. What does that mean? Ella. Baruchu 
He sees a generation which are made up of bad people. Who looks around one person he can depend on. That is generation which is degenerate, which is bad. Sometimes in that generation, we need a person who can change that generation. Say Chazal. Ivan Shechatu Bimei Micha. The last chapter of Sefer Shoftim speaks about Esel Micha. Micha who offer up Abu Dazara. You may catrim the Salmo Shel Micha. Vaya Haashan Shel Shilo. On the one hand, you had the Mizbeach, the altar of Shiloh, going up to Akurush Baruch 20 kilometers away from that, you have the smoke from Pesel Micha. They get mixed up. There's no, there's no pure smoke. The smoke is mixed up with idolatry. Aviachol, Hoser Umavakesh, Afilu Tzadik Echad. The Kodesh Baruch Hu looks for one Tzadik. Today, Shelo Yafoch Et Haolam. The Kodesh Baruch Hu won't cause a uprising in the world. Shneemar Asher Od Bikshan Afshi Velo Matzati. Achar Kach Matza Leel Pana Adam Echad. Kodesh Baruch Hu finds one man that is El Pana. Vayihi Ish Echad. One man who wants to hear the message of God. One man in the whole of Harifraim who is willing to take up a mission. Okay, we will see in a couple of minutes how Elkanah is compared to one other man. But before we go into that, let's go one more sentence. The end of Sefer. How is it possible that in the whole of the Jewish people, there's only one man? Say Chazal. Say the, the last sentences of Sefer Shoftim. Eitalchu misham b'nei Yisrael b'etahi. Ish l'shivto u'mishpachto. Eitzu misham ish l'nachlato. Everybody went to his little portion of land, and that's where he lived. In inverted commas, all the tzaddikim and all the people, they remained in their house. Nobody cared about anything. End of the period of Shoftim or the Bichlal, the whole period of Shoftim, there's nobody who takes up leadership. Ish Hayashar Einav Yaase. Right. Now let's try to analyze what we have here. What we have here is the following we have a generation where idolatry is all over the place. The main one is Esel Micha, the Esel of Micha. That's how Sefer Shoftim ends. Where are all the great people? They're in their houses. But what they say in Yiddish, Tzadik in Kelts. They cover, they go into their fur coats and they remain there. Not a Chofetz Chaim who goes around telling people going around giving shiurim. No, they're all stuck in their houses, okay? 
They don't have Zoom. They don't have the ability to speak to other people. And therefore, what are they doing? They're in their own houses. And that's why they do not have any impact on their generation. There's only one man who is willing to take on having an impact on his generation. And that is Elkanah. Elkanah is the one who HaKadosh Baruch Hu finds who's willing to take up okay, the mission. Now, let's give ourselves another person like that. And this week's parsha is Lech Lecho. Lech Lecho El Arzacho. Now, gives the great Sfatimet a fascinating insight. There's the Sfatimet, Vayomer Hashem El Avram. Okay, it's not in front of you. Okay, this is an idea which the Sfatimet gives. Kurush Borchu cries out to the world. He says to the world, Lech Lecha, change the world. I need somebody to change the world. Said the Sfat Emet, every single person, HaKadosh Baruch Hu cries out. But only one person is willing to hear that message of Lech Lecha. There's only one person in the world who's actually willing to go up and say, yeah, I'm willing to take on the mission and Lech Lecha. Go out and do things. Go to Eretz Israel. That's Lech Lecho, says the Sfat Emet. Sfat Emet says, Kush Bochu doesn't speak to Avram. Avram hears the voice. Avram, so to speak, hears the voice of Akush Bochu saying the world needs to be changed. That's Avram Avinu. The same thing, say Chazal, is exactly the same thing compared with um, Elkanah. Now let's go to the page, the next page. Okay. Say Chazal. Ana Dve Eliyahu. Okay. Ayalehem, the Sanhedrin. Dola. Shiniach Moshe Yoshua in Chasve Lazaimahem. She Kruvu Chavalim She Barzel Bemotnehem. What should they have done? They should have taken ropes around themselves. They should go around all the all the cities of Israel. One day, they should go to Bet El. One day, they should visit Hebron. They should teach Am Eretis Am Israel Torah. Think to yourself, Rabotai, there are no books. There are no books. So who, who do we know? How do people get information about the Torah? It's only oral. There are no books. People don't know how to read. So who's going to give over the messages? The Talmidei Chachomim. And that's what they should have done. They should have gone around all the places of Eretz Israel and teach Torah. B'Shana. B'Shtayim B'Shalosh. And that's the way that the name of HaKadosh Baruch Hu should be multiplied. They never did that. Line number 49. Everybody went into their vineyard and their wines. Amar, shalom alecha nafshi. I want a quiet life. I don't need anybody to drive me up the wall with questions and giving shiurim. No. I want a quiet life. Today, shalom laharbot et torah That nobody should trouble me. Says the Chofetz Chaim on this. Umize. Nuchal lahavin. Kama mutal. Godel hachiyuv. Line number 55, Rab. 54. Kama godel hachiyuv. Al kol ish mi Israel. Sheyuchal yachol lohoil mitorato la achirim. 
how he can transfer Torah to other people. Ezo often shul, shiloi trapemize. Never stop. Person who's got something to say, should say it. Should teach Torah. Be'met davar zeu bichlal mashi nistavenu ba Torah. Avtai et Hashem elokecha. Shelo katuv tohav et Hashem. You don't say love God in the future. Rak va'ahavta. Dar ot shetzarich gamken lahev ota al achirim. You've got to make the Torah beloved on other people. Ukiteitza besifrei la pasuk azeh va'avtai et Hashem lokecha avei al briyotav karam avinu. Kadoa shalidei Torah ba adam lidei avat Hashem kumo shekatavnu leel perek yud be. Chovetz Chaim learns from this midrash chova the chova. But everybody who knows how to teach Torah, a boy say, has got a chova to always teach Torah to other people. That's what we learn from Avraham Avinu, and that is the mission, says the Chovetz Chaim, of every single person. A person should never ever say Shalom Alecha Nafshi. Keep quiet. Don't do anything. I like my house. I like my four walls. I don't need anything. Give me my parnosa, and that's it. That's the period of shoftim. Nobody takes up leadership. Right. If anybody wants to, I'm opening up this part. If anybody wants to say anything, Raboisa, you can say. Because this is the in, in introduction to the idea of Shmuel. We'll see how Shmuel takes this up as his mission. Everybody, anybody's got anything to say? Please, I'm unmuting people if you want. Or can I carry on? Harold, do you want to say something? No, no, no. Right, carry can on. we carry on? Carry, carry on. on. Right. Right, let's carry on. So now let's go back to share screen. And we're going to carry on now to the next stage. Kabar Acher, line number 59. Kabar Acher, Dam Echad Me'elef Matzati, Zu Avraham. Hech, El Atzafui Haya, it was seen in the future. Shelo Ya'amod, Ad Shelo Ya'amod Avraham, Shiyamdu Elef Do, there'll be a thousand years. Means to say, Akurz Bochu was had the hope that from Abraham there would only be a thousand years. I won't need anybody till Abraham for a thousand years. What did Akurz Bochu see? Already after 20 generations. We need somebody like Abraham. Because think to yourself, two, two revolutions, two catastrophes have taken place in the world. The flood and Dora Palaga. Okay? Physical annihilation and spiritual annihilation. So Abraham of Vino already after 20 generations was needed. Kach af el kana. The same thing about el kana. Nimtsa yechidi v'chol doro. El kana was similar to Abraham in every way. V'chol ma'asav shel el kana domim la Abraham. Hech ela. Abraham nikra ish. He was a personality. Tichti v'ata ishev eshet ish. V'el kana kti v'hi ish. Abraham nikra navi, ve'el kana nikra navi. Abraham ikna la kadosh baruchu shamayim va'aretz. Abraham proclaimed to the world that Avra that Akadosh baruchu is the owner of the world. Dichtiv birecha baruch Abraham lekel elyon kone shamayim va'aretz. Ve'el kana ikna la kadosh baruchu shamayim va'aretz shneema ushmo el kana. What does he mean, El Kana? HaKadosh Baruch Hu, who is the owner. He believed that his father, who gave him that name, that was his mission. To carry on Abraham Avinu's mission. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is the owner of the world. 
אברהם דכתיב נקרא אחת, דכתיב אחד היה אברהם, ואלקנה נקרא אברהם אחד, דכתיב ויהי איש אחד. One person in a generation. And that is what Rabbi Chia says in line number 72. Ba'amar Rabbi Chia, Avraham bar Abba, Amar Rabbi Yochanan. Afilu bishvil tzadik echad haolam itkayem. Shenema v'tzadik yisod olam. What was Avraham's mission? Says the Rambam. V'itchil l'amod v'likro v'kol gadol. Avraham Avinu begins to call the whole world. There is one God. Used to walk. And read. And to gather people together from city to city. And from kingdom to kingdom. All his way from Haran to Eretz Israel. He used to give droshas. He used to speak to the people. And ask him, what are you doing? Everybody according to his spiritual standing. Hundreds of thousands of people. The Haim and She Bet Avraham. They are the members of the family of Abraham. And he plants in their heart this message, this principle. There's a fascinating concept which the Raivad brings out. Because we know Hamalet Gerim, a person who does Brit Milat Gerim, Mevarech. ברוך אתה השם אלוקינו מלך העולם, שהקידושנו ומצוותיו וציוונו למול את הגרים. Where do we know there is a mitzvah to bring in proselytes? Says the Raivad, in בעל הנפש, אם תאמר, if you want to say, איכן ציוונו, where did הקדוש ברוך הוא command us to do such a thing? Answers the Raivad, את הנפש, Avram Avinu goes around bringing together people to believe in one God. If all the people of the world will get together, the only piece of who do you make, the people who you make, it's written in the Pasuk, what does it mean you made them? No, you transformed them. You created them from somebody new, new identity, new personality. Somebody new. That is what they did, what Abraham Avinu does. It's as if he created them. And that's the mitzvah asher tzivanu. Right, Abraham Avinu fulfills the principles of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and he makes HaKadosh Baruch Hu beloved on everybody. And that's why that was his mission. Now let's go to Elkanah. The Midrash says, Ayotze badavar ata umer. Line number 90. Vahi eish echad miratayim. Haya ol Elkanah ole arba pa'amim b'shana. He used to go four times a year. Shlosha mina Torah, the three regalim, and one, achat she kibel alav. Shneemar v'ala yishahu meiro miyamim leyamima. Elkana, hu ala, v'ishto, uvanav, uvnotav, his family. Achiv, v'achiyotav. V'kol krovav imo, v'chol b'nei beito. Haya malet akol imo. Everybody used to come with him. Why did he bring up all his family? Lama malet akolimo. Shayu olim baderech. Velanim birchova shel ir. And he used to sit, live in the middle of each town. 
מתקבצים האנשים לבד ואנשים לבד, שכן האיש מדבר עם האיש, אישה עם האישה, גדול עם גדול, קטון עם קטן. הייתה המדינה מרגשת. Everybody got emotional. היו שואלים להם, להיכן תלכו? Where are you going? אומרים, בית השם בשילה. We're going to שילה. שמשם תצא תורה ומשם מצווה. ואתם, למה לא תבוא עמנו? ונלך ביחד. Why don't you want to come with us? נלך ביחד. מיד עיניהם משגרות דמעות. The people begin crying. אמר להן, נעלה עמכם. Let's go together. אמרו לו הן. עד לשנה הבאה חמישה בתים. Five households. לשנה אחרת. The next year, ten batim. L'shana acheret higish akula l'alot. V'ayu olim eimena k'shishim batim. U'baderech shaya ole shana zu, l'shana acheret, eino ole ele b'derech acheret. Every year went a different way. El pana ikhriya et Yisrael v'taf z'chut. Chinech otam b'mitzvot. זיכו רבים על ידו, הקדוש ברוך הוא בוחן גליבות וכליות. אומר לו אלקנה, אתה הכרעת את ישראל לקו זכות וחינכתם במצוות, וזיכו רבים על ידיך. אני אוציא ממך בן שיכרע את ישראל לקו זכות, ויחנך אותם במצוות, ויזכה רבים על ידו. So what did we have here? רבו ישראל, we had a משוגנה. We had a משוגנה. guy who one year okay decides to take his family with him she law first year takes a few members of his family he goes why by a one village and the people of that village ask him where you're going etc 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 every year he goes a different way every year he has a new impact he imbues them in keeping the to the beginning, one mitzvah, going to, going to Shiloh. And the impact which Elkanah has on people is immense. He has this amazing ability to what? To create a feeling of connection to the Mishkan. That, Rabotai, is the success of Elkanah. It's the only mitzvah which we hear Elkanah does. If we go back to the sentences, let's just go back to the screen, we will see that the only thing which Elkanah does, if we go back to the sentences, is the following. Lent 9, number 3. V'ala ha'isha hu me'iro mi'amim mi'amima. Yishtachavot v'lizboach. We don't know any other mitzvahs. V'hi ha'yom v'izbach Elkanah. Every year, this mitzvah, this mitzvah is his mishugasa. Okay? Now, let me give you an example. Okay? When the Lubavitcher Rebbe, Lech Etzadik Livrocha, okay, he went out, keeping, everybody's got to keep one mitzvah, filling. Famous filling campaign of the Lubavitcher Rebbe. He had all these mishugoyim, strapping for the people, strapping them, putting on tefillin, okay? That's exactly what Elkanah did. Exactly what Elkanah did. One mitzvah, that's what you've got to do. Okay, Rabbi Warren Goldstein, this year from South Africa, South Africa, Shabbos campaign. Meshugas, one Shabbos a year, you've got to keep Shabbos. What does one Shabbos a year do? The impact of One mitzvah on the Jewish people. The one who taught us this was Abraham. The second Meshugana was Elkanah. Elkanah does it in a social way. He doesn't give Musa. What does he say? He says, come with me. Let's go to the football match. Let's go to the basketball match. Let's go to the baseball game. Let's go to the Mishkan. Let's go to Yerushalayim. It's a social thing. It's a social campaign 
which is has the ability to entice everybody to go around it. What we're going to do in Shiloh, we're going to have a fresh there. Yeah, we'll offer up a bit of a korban. We're going to have a good meal there. Aye, what's the meal? Here is a meal. Rabbi Sai with Aliyala Regel. Let's go. And Derek Agav, by the way, he managed to change a whole generation. We will see how his son Shmuel follows his way. That was Elkanah. He managed to give Akadosh Baruch Hu, so to speak, the feeling he owns the world again. Let's go one more stage and then I'll let you speak. Say Chazal, next Midrash. Okay. Line number, which I want to read with you, is the whole objective. Line number 105. Became somebody important in his family house. He was all the time going up. Allah. The whole time had an impact. He was going up and up in the in the, in the scale of the Jewish people and the impact. He was the whole time going up. Eventually, all Am Israel follows him. Why is that? Because he goes everywhere. He goes every time he goes to Shiloh, he goes a new way, he finds a new direction. He doesn't use ways. He doesn't use Google Maps. He finds new ways of getting to Shiloh. It might take him longer, but that's what he does. Now let's see what the impact of Aliyala Regal is, because we see he takes this specific mitzvah of Aliyala Regal. Says the Chinuch. Every male has to go up in Yerushalayim. In Pesach, Shavuot, and Sukkot. All Am Yisrael will see. attention Every single one of us. Holy people. A treasure of all the people, Stachat Kashar Amayim. Al Ken Yavo Shalosh Pamim Bashana Beit Hashem. Who come Ramal Derch Mashal? In a new Lakel. The Avadim. We are like servants. We Nasim Uvaim Bixel Horato. We are invited into the palace of the king. Uvaches Kato. Smuchim Laad Lolam Bavatov Yirato. Zar. No stranger goes with us. We are his family. Elkanah wanted to give a message that all Am Israel are the family of Kurush Boro. The only way he does that is try to remember there are no books, there are no People can't read. But what he has to do is he has to give, create enthusiasm. Emotional enthusiasm. That's, he sees the only mitzvah which will create a social and emotional enthusiasm is by going to Yerushalayim, going to Shiloh. This action, itorer da'atenu. Therefore, that way, I'm Israel, connect up to God again. Okay, think to yourselves, Rabotai, that in his period, the concept of a shul Never existed. The concept of Tfilah B'tzibur never existed. The whole concept of Tfilah B'tzibur started off when Am Yisrael came back from the destruction of the, second, of the first temple. Zerah Sofer, 
creates filah which everybody will say together will be what is known as filah b'tzibur. In his in the period of the shoftim, there was nothing like that. Only communal mitzvah, which took place where all Am Yisrael could get together, was aliyah la regel three times a year. That was it. Okay? We take nowadays Birkat Koanim. Okay? Birkat Koanim has this big impact. This year, unfortunately, we couldn't do it. But think to yourselves what an impact it is when you have 300, 500 Koanim and goodness knows how many thousands of people. Aliyala Regel. Okay? Yushalayim. Okay? Those, all of you guys who live in Yushalayim know what it is when during Cholamoy Pesach and Cholamoy Tzukus where you can't move around. Okay? But that is Yushalayim. That's what Elkanah wanted to do to his generation. Now, the fascinating thing is the explanation, which we're now going to learn, of one of the great commentators on the Torah, Haktava Kabbalah. Now, please follow me because it's one of the... Yes, Harold. Yeah. Please speak. Any questions, please do now. Yeah. Okay, because... Yeah. So what was Avram Avinu's one mitzvah? Pardon? Muna. Achnasat Orchim. Achnasat Orchim with a Muna. Remember, Vayita Eshel Be'er Sheva. Okay? What did he do? How did he create the impact? Achnasat Orchim. Okay? I'll give you more than that. There's a fascinating, one of the great shiurim which I heard once on a tape of Reb Noach Weinberg, Zeichet Tzadik Livrocha. The founder of Eish Torah. Okay, now I can't say it like him. This was amazing. Okay, the beginning of next week's parsha. Okay, Hakadosh Baruch Hu Avraham Avinu is sitting outside. Okay, looking for people. Says Reb Noach Weinberg, the following. Akurush Baruch is beginning to speak to Avram Avinu. He sees three people walking towards him. Shloshan Hashim. Says Reb Noach Weinberg, he says, Gav, wait a couple of minutes. There are a few strangers down the road there. So Akurush Baruch says to him, I'm talking to you. Listen to me. Avram Avinu says, no, Akurush Bochu. Those guys have been walking a long time. They're tired. They're hungry. Akurush Bochu says to him, I'm talking to you. Avram Avinu says, How can I ever teach people about you, Akurush Bochu, if you don't let me to call these people in? I promise you, Akurush Bochu, that you'll have another three Hasidim. If you let me do what I want to do now. From here, Chazal say, Why? Because if a person does in the correct way, automatically will people will ask him, what? You're calling in three strangers? What are you doing here? Abraham Avinu has an objective. Achnos Asorchim is the name Tsa'i, is a is a way of bringing people into Achnosas, into, into Akurush Bochus fold. That's what exactly what El Kanad does. He sees the mitzvah of Aliyala Regel as an aim to get to the objective. My objective is that Abram, that Abram Israel should believe in Akurush Bochu. Konesh How do I do it? I create enthusiasm. I create, a, use a mitzvah. One specific mitzvah, which will change the whole directive of the world, of the Jewish world. Right. Now, what I want to learn with you now is a most unbelievable keta, part from a sefer which is called Haktava Kabbalah. Haktava Kabbalah is a book which was written by Rabbi Yaakov Tzvi Mecklenburg. He was a, a pupil of Rabbi Akiva Eger, and 
It's a fascinating explanation on the Torah. He uses many, many different methods of explaining, but this is what I want to learn with you now. Line can number you, 190. Larry, can you up the size of the print? Can I up the size of the print? Don't ask me how oh, to do that. I've got I no see. idea how to do it. Oh, one minute. Okay, 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 one minute. Let me see. Hold on. Okay, 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 one minute. We'll see what I can do. I'm no computer great, great guy. Okay, is that better for you? Of course. Right, okay then. Right. No problem. Mizehainyan nireli. Shunach shem regalim. What does the word shlosha regalim mean? Now, the usual translation is foot festivals. Everybody used to go up there by foot. He says, no. Ihem molichim margilim umanhilim umanhalim et Israel. Get people used to. It's not from the word regel. It's used to the word ragil. Make people used to going in the ways of Hashem. Ayesod sher alav nivna all adat ha Israeli etziat mitzrayim. The foundation of the Jewish people of Emuna is etziat mitzrayim. Yal yedei haotot vaamoftim agdolim anoraim shenasu az leinayim. Now says the Ketav HaKabla, how do I continue this divine providence? We live on Yetzias Mitzrayim, but how do I continue it? Lachen, ifli hu yidbarach hasdo, lehorot, gam leinei dorot abayim, even the future generations, shanagato imahem bederech nifla, that he will behave to the people in an unbelievable way. Lemala Minateva, above nature. Bilti musagot le sechel enoshi. Man cannot understand it. Vehem, hanisim hamuflaim shayu matmidim be beis amikdosh. The miracles which took place in the beis amikdosh. Ten miracles took place in the beis amikdosh. Mo, esh shiyarda min hashamayim, fire coming down from heaven. On the underneath, there was a constant fire, even though it was an open air. They used to bring out their own Kodesh. loves you. And the Western. Uh, candle, Shabaya Matchil, etc., etc., etc. That means there were constant miracles, constant miracles in the Beis Amigdosh. Line number 140. Vanes Hanifla, Shayu Omdim Tfufim, Mishdachavim Revachim. They used to have plenty of space when they used to bow down. Shayu Mukhunasim Bazara Bergalima Yuduchim Bamidatam. Etc., etc., etc. Everybody davened, stuck together, but you didn't hear anybody speaking. Hinei, Halotiga bilvavo, Romamut kvod yotzro b'midag dola. Something would affect him in his heart. V'yavin ma'at me'adrat elinyan eloki, yichazek et levavo, etc. V'yiten ha'kavod l'melech ha'kavod l'ikana l'fanav u'l'ovdoko v'neeman. Hinei, la'asagat tachlit anifla azu, sh'ayu chagei Shem Umuadav, Molichim, Polish Israel. Kalidea Nisim Shaube Vesa Mikdosh, Yumun Hagim, Umuvaim, Lekabel, Lukayem, Uke Hashem, Lachain Nikru Regalim. That's why they were called Regalim. Three times a year, Jew got used to seeing Akurush Borhu. Seeing Akurush Borhu. That 
was the idea of Elkanah. Taking them to Shiloh was a spiritual elevation. It wasn't a social. He begins by a social communique. He begins saying, listen, let's go to, what's it called? Let's go to, to, to the Beis Amikdosh. Let's go to the Mishkan, etc., etc., etc. And that was his objective. What happened there? People were transformed. People became connected to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Okay? That was his objective. Now, what happens? Let's go back. What happens? I'll make it bigger for you now. Sorry. Okay, it's a good idea, Phil. Very good. Okay, let me make it bigger. Never thought of that. Right. What happens now? Ze El Kana, line number 159. Five. Madrichet Israel. Every year he went up. Now, what's amazing is the following. What did the other people say to him? All the other Aboni would say to him, what do you mean? Teach them Torah. Just like in the period of the Baal Shem Tov. Teach them Torah. What are you busy wrapping tefillin around people for? What are you busy with other mitzvahs for? What, are you teaching them just to go to Yerushalayim? Says Rabbeinu Nisim Gaon on the basis of a Yerushalmi. Et lasot lashem There are times where people need to come and say, this mitzvah is more important than another mitzvah. Yoshu tamo b'gmora d'bnei ma'arava. Amarav z'ira. Im nizdakna umatcha. Amod v'gidra. If the nation becomes old and antiquate and, 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 and couldn't care less, stand up and define to them one mitzvah. Shem sha'asa elkana. Shaya madrich et Yisrael Sometimes there's a necessity to say one mitzvah precedes another one. Because by doing that, correct, there's a time to do things. There's a necessity to come and say one mitzvah is more important. I, how do you do such a thing? Abid Amelech says, yeah, that's what you've got to do. Now, often, People don't have the ability. Other leaders don't have the other ability to see such a thing. But as the Lubavitcher Rebbe used to say, put on tefillin on everybody. Well, all of a sudden tefillin becomes a more important mitzvah. Yeah, it does. In certain periods, there's a necessity for that idea. Because that way becomes an emtsai. Ah, next time you'll want to put on tefillin, they'll go to shul. Etc., etc., etc. So that people don't often understand. And here the Midrash, the Yushami comes along and teaches us, Et la'asot la'shem Sometimes you have to use all different means in order to build the what's it called. Now, the identity of the Jewish people. Now comes Ovid HaMelech. Eric Ayin Chet, chapter 78 in Tehillim, is one of the Spakim, which speaks about historical perspectives. And we say it. They vexed him with their high places. And they incest him with their idols. Shama, Elohim, God, got angry. And he was enraged from anger. Israel. Mishkan Shiloh, well, she came by Adam. He forsook the tabernacle of Shiloh, the tent he set amongst men. Now, what happens? Rabbi Amelech looks at it. Eli Shmuel says the Radak, you be my Vodazara. Ad Sheshivam Shmuel a Derek Tova. Harshuv Aaron Mistep Lishtim. Shama. 
אלוקים דברי החסה, ליטוש משכן שילה, הארון שהיה בשילה. All what Elkanah tries to do, uplift the Jewish people, changing them, making שילה the center of Jewish identity, this unfortunately doesn't last very long. So if you haven't got a Meshugana who will carry on, we will haven't got a generation of Meshugoyim who carry on that, then it all falls to pieces. And that's exactly what David HaMelech says. The, the idea which Elkanah wanted to bring down, bring out, wasn't something which lasted. Okay, it's good five years, 10 years, but after that, you have to find another trick. You have to find another trick. And that, unfortunately, is the history of people. But in the period of Elkanah, Elkanah manages to change the movement of the Jewish people from a, a people where the leaders sat in their houses in their fur coats. Elkanah goes out to them and creates a new identity for the Jewish people. That is Elkanah as a public leader. Mirz Hashem, the next shiur, will speak about Elkanah as a person and husband. Questions, whatever you want now, I'm uh, letting you, anybody speak, whoever wants to. Yes. Uh, do you see any connection between what Elkanah was doing then and what people are insisting on doing in uh, in uh, Uman now? I don't speak about politics and what goes on. <laughs> never, never. Okay, I teach Torah, that's it, finished. What, what Everybody, theory? anybody can use what I said in their own ideas. I didn't say anything about that. All I said is that there's certain times where certain mitzvahs okay, need as an emtsai to create an environment. Okay, which mitzvahs? I'm too small for that. But I wonder if the, the message is that if you focus only on one idea or one behavior or one mitzvah, then ultimately that becomes an avodah zara because then you, that's all you believe. That's all you focus everything on yeah, that. But if, it's a mitzv but if it's a mitzvah, Harold, filling can never become an avodah zara. But if that's all you do, okay, I'm saying okay. if, that's the, if that's the no, but if you use that as an emtsai, I'm yeah, saying El can I use it as an emtsai, as, an, as, a, as a way. Okay, that's the greatness of people. Okay, what is your objective? Do you want to use one mitzvah hefer or toratecha, or do you change that into one mitzvah and that's all you've got to keep? The what person doesn't use it. As a as a as a as a as a what's it called? As a means of getting going forward, okay, it won't work. Where but it I work? Think, okay, what when I'm saying is so wait a minute. It's like the Mishnah in Bracho says about prayer. It says, Don't be myrich on your prayer too much, because you might actually think that it was your prayer that you know I agree with you that caused something. And you and you and you believe in yourself more than you really understand that it was from a Kaddish Baruch Hu. Correct. So it's like you, if you concentrate so much on Tila, you'll you'll think it's from you, and you'll and and in in essence, that's the definition of that's that's of Odizara. So uh, it seems that that's, that's the message. Yeah, you wanted to say something. Uh, I just want to say thank you very Timing. much. Right. Okay. Timing was what I wanted to find out. When exactly, historically, did he live? To Elkanah. Yeah. Elkanah was about uh, 200 years after uh, going into Israel. 150 years, approximately. After Everybody? going. But then I'll give you the year next week. Next year, I'll tell you exactly how many years after going out of Egypt. But, but period, in terms of the period, this was. Straight, straight after the Shoftim. Straight right. after the period of the Shoftim. Right. 
before the building of the Beit HaMikdash. Yeah, of course, 200 years before, 100, yeah. 150 years. Thank you. Okay, Okay, we'll carry on next week. Next year, I'll speak about Elkanah as a husband and as a person. Incidentally, the discussion you just had about the effect of tefillin, I have been observing it uh, in a social way that in the army, there are many young men who will fight to put on the tefillin every day. Also, that was at the end of the Holocaust. But other things, they're not necessarily as machmir and other things. True, I agree, I agree. It's an amazing I, thing. I agree, I agree, I agree. It's a social mitzvah. I agree with you, I'm not saying, okay? No, no, it's more than a social mitzvah. It's their attachment to the Jewish religion. I agree with you, I agree, 100%. 100%. I, I'm amazed by it. And, Listen, and if you say, people, if you, what what do they say when they put on tefillin? They also say shema. Yeah, sure. Right, you understand. The so therefore, it's kabbal. It's not making it into avoid zora. It's making no. it into kabbalas no. malchus Well, that's my the point. most important mitzvah. Even if they don't keep a lot of other mitzvahs, hundred percent. They're not going. Hundred percent. They're not okay. going. Okay. Also, everybody. Pleasure. Bye. Be well. Thank you. Be well, everybody.